After a week off, we return to Oxford with the biggest game of the series so far as we travel to Newcastle United for the FA Cup third round. Hello, 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 people. Welcome back to the channel. It is me, Taylor Made Gaming, and yep, we have got a massive game here today for you as we are travelling up to the northeast of England to take on Newcastle United in the FA Cup third round. It's that weekend of the year where giant killings can happen, upsets can take place, famous names can be created, and I'm really hoping we can be one of them this weekend as well. The form we've had since we've last been together is giving me hope that we just might be able to. I'm going to run you through the results we've had since we was last together in a second and then we'll have a look at how Newcastle have got on as well so you can see what a challenge we have got in front of us here today. Our first game since we've last been together was a 2-2 draw against Bristol Rovers. Michael Ebervine from the penalty spot and Bessie Omaradzic gave us a first half 2-0 lead. But in the space of two minutes in the second half, the 58th and the 60th minute, Bristol Rovers came back from that 2-0 deficit to draw out the game 2-2. Nathan Young Coombs and Scott Sinclair with their goals. We then finished off October with a 2-1 come-from-behind victory against Port Vale, James Wilson giving the visitors the lead. And then we managed to turn it around with Sam Baldock and Elliot Moore giving us the victory in a very good come-from-behind win. We then went into November and we started poorly as Victor Adebayo gave Bolton a very early lead against us and it wasn't until the 89th minute that we managed to get a draw at the Tough Seat Community Stadium. I love that name for a stadium. That is a brilliant name. Following that though, November was perfect. Starting with a 3-0 victory against AFC Wimbledon at home. Tyler Smith, Marcus Brown and Michael Ebervine giving us a very, very nice victory there. Following that, we scored three at home once again, as this time we had to come from behind once more. Nathaniel Mendes laying giving the visitors the lead in the fourth minute. But once Scott Banks equalised for us, we never looked like losing as he equalised in the 12th minute. Tyler Smith gave us the lead in the 18th minute. And then our young loanee, Kayon Edwards, finished off the scoring in the 93rd minute just to make absolutely sure of the victory. Our FA Cup run began with a 6-1 victory against Alfreton Town. Sam Baldock giving us the lead just before the half-time whistle. And then Dale Southwell equalised for the visitors to give us a bit of a fright. But we was having none of that as we then scored five in the second half. Kayon Edwards with one, Kamara with two, Gorin with another and Danny Ward with the last goal of the game as we put in a very professional performance against Alfreton Town. We then had a double header against Portsmouth. First up in the EFL Trophy as we won it eventually 3-2. Marcus Brown with a goal in the 92nd minute to seal that game for us as we did manage to make it through in that competition. Well, wouldn't you know it, our second game against Portsmouth in three days ended in the exact same scoreline. 3-2 to us once again. Not quite as much late drama in this game. We did get it wrapped up in the 73rd minute as we did win 3-2 once more. We then finished the goal bonanza of a month as we scored three once again to make it 22 goals scored in the month. 
Bashir Omaradzic, Michael Eberwein and Marcus Brown put in the goals past Port Vale. We then moved into December and well, it didn't start very well as we again had a double header against the same team. This time it was Cholton and they beat us 1-0 with a Charlie Kirk goal in the 88th minute. Just four days later and Cholton again increased the pain on us as they knocked us out from the EFL trophy, this time on penalties after the game had finished 2-2 in normal time. The big news from this game was Harvey Nibs making his return from a two-month injury layoff and he got himself a goal in this game but it was not enough to see us through in that competition. Harvey Nibs did get on the score sheet once again as he scored in the first minute to give us hope of a very nice easy victory against non-league Dagenham and Redbridge. However, it was not to be and Zach Brown got the equaliser for the hosts in the 70th minute which meant we would have to play them again at our place. We carried on looking for our first victory of the month in our fourth game of December. This time it was a very disappointing 0-0 draw at home against Walsall in what I think has been our worst performance of the season thus far. Following that though, we did finally get back to winning ways as Harvey Nibs gave us the victory against Forest Green Rovers. I'm so glad he's back fit because he is a phenomenal player at this level. In the FA Cup replay against Dagenham and Redbridge at home, we finally put the lower league team to the sword. Harvey Nibs again with a goal, Kayon Edwards with a couple to give us a very nice 3-0 win to set up today's game against Newcastle United. Harvey Nibs once again carried on his excellent run of goal scoring form as he gave us the lead against Walsall FC. Sam Baldock in the 88th minute made sure of the victory. Our good run of form did end there though as we did lose 2-0 to Barnsley, Aaron Iseka with two goals to really end the year for us on a disappointing note. The new year though has started quite well as we began with a 3-0 victory at home against Fleetwood Town. That man again, Sir Harvey of Nibsville with a couple of goals in the first half and Abdullahi Kamara with the goal in the 84th minute giving us another nice victory. Then in our last game we did score three once again but this time it wasn't enough for the victory as we drew 3-3 with MK Dons, Matthew Smith with one for us, Kayon Edwards with the other two. But for MK Dons, it was Dara Burns and Max Dean who did give MK Dons the equalising goal. They scored two in a minute to go from 3-1 down to make sure the game finished 3 all. If we have a look at the Premier League table, it is looking very positive for Newcastle United. They are second in the table, so that tells you what a challenge we've got on our hands today. To make that challenge even more obvious, they have beaten Arsenal and Chelsea in their last two games. Alexander Isaac getting goals in both of those games. And they've got a point at Man City. I'm scared. I am scared, boys. This could be anything here today. This might be a bit of a suicide mission, but I'm sticking with the tactics that has served us so well in the season so far. We're keeping with the positive mentality. We're keeping with the 4-3-1-2 formation. And so these are the 11 potential heroes that have been chosen to take on Newcastle United for us today. We've got Jack Stevens in goal. We've got Kalina and Long as our two wing-backs. We've got Bauer and Omar Adjic, who are the centre-backs for today. And then in the middle of the park, we've got Shaw, O'Neill and Smith. 
And then up front, it's Banks just behind Harvey Nibs and Tyler Smith. If there was ever a game for both of them to find their goal-scoring boots today, it is definitely this one. So come on, you yellers. This is the Newcastle lineup for today's game. I was hoping that they might have taken it easy on us. But my God, they have gone with their first full strength team. Pope in goal, Bruno Gamares, Almiron, Danny Olmo, they've bought, Alexander Isaac, of course, Cal Henrique. He's not one I've heard of too much. But it's even on the bench now, they've got a good bench. Emelino Martinez, Sanchez, Van der Beek, Wilson, they've got on the bench. Oh my gosh, this could be anything. This could be anything, lads. I am I don't know what team talk to go with here, boys and girls. I'm gonna go. Pressure is all on them. No reaction. I knew I should have told him just to keep with the faith the Media have hauled on them lately, and oh no. So how many people have we got motivated, or at least some kind of reaction? One, two, three, four, five, six out of the first 11. So again, about half the team. Prediction time. Oh, I don't know what to predict. I I'd like a win. 1-0 us. I'm going to say 1-0 us, because I'm an absolute madman. Four minutes into the game, Newcastle have got a highlight already, or at least they've got the ball. Sam Maximin works his way into the box and his shot goes over the bar. 15 minutes in now and Newcastle have got the ball once again. It's been all them in this game so far. Trippier now into our box and his cross has been blocked. Smith to Shaw to O'Neill. He gets the ball long and Smith, can he head it down to a teammate? No, he can't. Zuba Mendy out wide to Cal Henrique and Cal Henrique, he's into our box. He's crossed it in. Isaac's got the ball and is, is it eventually going to the box? No, it's not. We've managed to clear the ball away. We survive for the second. And now Cal Enrique, he's come in again. He's crossed it into the box. Isaac's header and that again goes wide. We survive. We survive. Half an hour in, we've only had the one shot in this game. And so you can tell this has been all Newcastle. But we are coming forward now. Or oh, indeed we was. We've given the ball away. Almiron to Trippier. Trippier to Gamares. Forward to Almiron once more. Trippier out wide. We need to get this ball back from him. Come on. Can we please get this ball off him? Doesn't look like we're going to. He's played it back to Gamares, but his cross has been blocked. But Newcastle have a second chance of getting this into the box. And Danny Olmo gives Newcastle the inevitable lead. But the referee's looking at this. Is the referee going to... Is the referee going to disallow this? Come on. Come on, lads. Come on, disallow it, please, please, please. Yes, he's disallowed it. But I love VAR. I love VAR, VAR, VAR. VAR, VAR, VAR. Yes. He was a mile offside. You could see it from the lines there. We live to fight another day. 38 minutes now into the game. And it's us with the ball. Can we at least get into Newcastle's half? That is at least what I want. Long now does have the ball in, indeed, the opposition's half. And it's Long with the ball. Back to Omaradzic. And Omaradzic is giving it away. Isaac now with it. Olmo. He plays it out wide to St. Maximan. And Bowers almost cleared the ball away there. St. Maximan back to Cal Enrique. Cal Enrique with the ball. And is he going to get this into our box? Yes, he is. Zuba Mendy. Zuba Mendy. Is he going to get it in? Nope. Cal Enrique. Isaac now. Isaac back to Trippier. Trippier shot hits the bar. And it's a tap in for Isaac. And there's no disallowing that one. Oh, we survived 38 minutes. But it has been all, all Newcastle. I'm going to change the tactics up if it is still only 1-0 at half-time, just to give us a fighting chance in this game. As you can see it there, it was the easiest goal Isaac will ever score to give Newcastle the lead. Two minutes later, and Newcastle again have the ball. St. Maximan with a free kick. He's crossed it in, and it's Ibanez to double Newcastle's lead. But the referee's looking at this one. The referee's looking at this one as well. Come on, ref. Come on, ref. Come on, ref. Y y you know that 50 quid I gave you before the game? Come on, surely it's got to be worth something. 
Come on. Come on. Oh, it's been given. I want that 50 quid back, sir. I would like that money back. As Ibanez has doubled Newcastle's lead. And, well, this could be anything now, couldn't it? One more highlight before the half-time whistle. Please don't let this be a third goal. Smith to Long. Back to Omaradzic. To Smith. To Nibs. And Nibs, even he loses the ball. And Newcastle are all over us at the moment. Cow and Rike getting the ball forward. Goes to O'Neill and O'Neill's pass into Smith into Saw in space, who goes to Smith. And to Smith again. Nibs. Can Nibs get the ball off Enrique? No, he can't. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do in this second half to try and get us back into this. As Max Mann plays a ball over the top and it goes to Stevens in our area. And is there going to be any point to this highlight or is this just an end of half highlight? As come on, the ball has gone long. Gamirez to Almoron. Almo over the top. Isaac's in behind once again and it's free. It's free. It's free. Oh, I shouldn't have gone with a positive for positive tactic, the positive mentality, should I? As oh, We're looking at this one as well, but I can't see this one being disallowed. Nope. Oh, VAR just playing with our emotions now. And oh my gosh, Isaac with a very nice goal. Isaac's a bit good at this football stuff, isn't he? Well, 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 that is the end of a disappointing first half. Newcastle's class has shown, hasn't it? 19 shots they've had to our one. Five on target to our none. XG 2.74 to our 0.04. Wow. W what do I do now? Do I try and limit the damage or do I just go for it? Go for it. Three up top, pump the ball up high and just see what we can do. That sounds more fun. That sounds more fun. So that's what we're going to go with. I'm going to go... Uh, duh, duh, duh. Uh, uh, there's no pressure and well a few of the lads are happy with that so now let's go and change the tactics let's go free up top and let's go Ebervine for Banks and Ebervine as a target forward uh, put him on support and put Nibs on attack and then, as for the passing, you want you want a much more direct shoot on sight, be more expressive, uh, distribute to target forward, and we're gonna go. How have we been getting these offside so many, so much? Even words spend words when we're playing with a lower defensive line. Really don't know, but oh well. Let's go. Let's go more often for the trigger press, and we are gonna leave it at that i think for now is there anyone i want to bring off on bring on off the bench not right now there isn't so you know what let's go attacking as well let's just sod it go for it we're losing anyway might as well see if we can at least get one of our boys a goal at st james's park because that'd be nice wouldn't it 52 minutes gone and we finally are getting the ball forward or at least it looked like we was as newcastle again collect it almo goes out wide to trippier and Trippier with the ball. Is he going to get this into the box? Or can we get this away? No, we can't. Isaac with the header. But thankfully, that one goes over. Just a couple of minutes later. And now Newcastle once again with the ball. It is all them. Can we at least get one highlight in this game, please? As now Olmo into Isaac. Isaac plays it out wide. That's offside, surely. Surely Trippier was offside there. But apparently not, as we do win the ball back. Kalina playing the ball long, but only as far as Ibanez. And now Almiron plays it into the box. Isaac's in behind the defence, and that's four. That's Alexander Isaac's hat trick against us. I knew this game was going to be difficult, but my gosh, this is an absolute mauling, isn't it? Almost an hour gone now. Stevens with a long ball forward. But Newcastle again win it back. Maybe we should keep to the sort of passing, possibly. That's what I'm going to change after this highlight. As now Trippier, again with the ball. It's been all Trippier, hasn't it, in this game. 
And is he going to find a teammate? Yes, he is. As Oh, we've given away a penalty. Oh, what a nightmare this is. The referee is obviously going to give this. I don't know what he's waiting for. Yet, penalty has been awarded. And so, it's going to be Danny Olmo to take it. I thought it might have been Isaac to get him a fourth goal. But Danny Olmo runs up. He suits. And, oh, it's a cheeky little penalty. And it's 5-0 to Newcastle. What a golfing class there has been here today. Well, just over 20 minutes left of this game to go. We're making a couple of changes. Edwards and McGuan are on for Harvey Nibs and Liam Shaw. Just to see what, what they can do in the rest of this game, really. 74 minutes gone in the game and we've finally got a highlight. Tyler Smith with a cross and Eva Vines had just floats over the goal. I think that's going to be as good as it's going to get for us here today, lads. Oh, having said that, we've got the ball again. Ten minutes left to go in the game. O'Neill into Omar Adjic, who goes over the top. Kayon Edwards trying to get onto the ball there, but Target heads the ball back to Pope, and his header was indeed on target. And now, what is the saintly figure of Nick Pope going to do with this ball? Rolls it very low to Kalulu. Into Bowie now. And now Sanchez back to Zuba Mendy. And our Newcastle going to get a sixth here. Please, God, no. As in fact, we've won the ball back now. O'Neill, Bauer, he goes over the top. Kalulu heads the ball away, but Smith collects it. And now Smith, can he play this ball forward or no? He goes wide to long and he plays it forward. Edwards is in. Edwards, square it. Square it. Why did he square it earlier? But we do still have the ball in the Newcastle half, in the Newcastle area. And Eva Vine's header again just goes over. Five minutes left now. And Newcastle again threatening to get a sixth. It's Olmo with the free kick. And that is a great save from Stevens. What a save there from the lad. He's going to be demoralised after having five gone past him. But that was a very, very good save from the lad. As now Olmo with the corner. Ibanez tries to head it away, but we win it back. And now Ibervine goes long to absolutely nobody. Now, just making one last change. Sam Long has, of course, been absolutely mullered by um, Kieran Trippier today. So I'm just taking him off, just so I don't get any questions about his poor performance in the press conference. Purely selfish reason for that substitution. Wow, wow, wow. That is top of the Premier League quality for you. Newcastle have put five past us. They've ended the game with an XG of 5.17 from 30 shots, 13 on target. We had zero on target. Wow. Let, let's just get into the dressing room. Let's tell the lads not to worry about it. And then that is where I will let you guys go for today. Uh, proud of your efforts? Yep, that is probably the best option I could have gone with. Everyone bar Liam Shaw is happy with that. And so, guys, if you have enjoyed watching me lose my mind in that game, please give me a mahoosive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 23 content. I've got the La Liga version of my Every Manager in the World Sacked Experiment coming out at some point in the near future. So I hope you're looking forward to that one. Follow me on Twitter as well at staylorcoms. Thank you all so much for watching and I shall see you next time.